Wallaby time travel debugging. What is it and how do we use it? Okay, it's a regular debugger, except you can go backward and forward, not just step over, step into, step out, and, st and run through, but you can actually go incrementally back and forth, and it remembers, okay? So let's debug this first assertion. Okay, we want, let's find out what's going, what's going on. So we have pink means it's on the execution path, red means it's the source of the error, um, and then this red just is the, in the gutter indicator uh, of your editor. It just is meant to highlight the fact that this is a failing test. And here's the, uh, the actual uh, source of it. So we'll say, we could say view, so we could, okay, we could say view show error, or we could just highlight the line and it will give us the output inspector. So it, we expected false, but received true. That's a Boolean of in future based on the car's speed or yeah, the car's speed. So it accelerates up to a certain point and then it goes into the future. So let's find out why we got true here when it's supposed to be false. Okay, so what we're gonna do is debug this. Okay, so while that's selected, I'm gonna go ahead and say, Command Shift Enter Debug. And we'll get our Wallaby Tools debugger here and time travel. So that means you can go backwards and forwards. So we start at the error and step back into. Okay. So we go accelerate to and just for you know to, to toggle the memory here, we accelerated to zero and we're expecting not to be in the future, but instead we are. We got true in the future. Okay, let's go toggle back. So if speed is equal to zero in the logic for car class that we construct here, car equals new car. Um, if speed is zero, return uh, set the future toggle to true. Okay, let's get rid of that, save, and uh, and go back. Let's see how we're doing. Okay, all green means passing. Okay, let's go to the next one. <clears throat> okay, um, let's actually stop debug, because that was debugging this test. So let's stop debugging that test and take a look. Okay, we've got one pass, one fail here. Um, I'm not gonna click this because it's gonna pull up my browser and do something else which I don't wanna do. Let's get in here, same thing. I'm gonna start at the end of the line, go to the beginning, backwards, forwards, okay. So our assertions is that the uh, car should be in the future when you accelerate high enough, okay? So we accelerated to 88 miles per hour and we're expecting to be in the future, but actually we received false, we are not in the future. Okay, so let's debug that. Okay, so shift, command, enter, debug. And, didn't work. Let's try it, let's try it again. Sh uh, command, shift, enter, debug. Okay, all right, so we're on the source of the error. Okay, and let's uh, step back into. So we're accelerating to 88. This says if speed is greater than 88, set your future toggle to true and return. And then otherwise just return this in future, which is defaulted to false when you construct the, the car class. All right, so let's go back to um, here and say what's what's happening. We went to 88, but really, if you wanna be in the future, which is our assertion, you need to be higher than 88, right? Because only speed greater than 88 gets you into the future. So let's um, change our speed to 89, and we'll see how that turns to green, and we pass. The test. We don't even have to save the. You don't have to save the file. That, that white 
with the X means it's not saved yet. I can go ahead and save it. And now it's just X means no no white uh, thing means it's saved. So either way, yeah, okay. Okay, so time travel debugging. Um, we're still in the debugger, so I could just show you um, if I wanted to, uh, if, okay, let's say I'm here and I want to, um, where are we here? So let's say I want to step over, oh, okay, let's step out. Let's say I want to. What? Let's say I want to run back to the line, like as if it was a breakpoint, except it can go backwards in time. I can just do that, and I go to that line. If I want it to go forward to basically this breakpoint or the line, I'll say forward to that line. Okay, so that's how that works. So instead of breakpoints, you just put the cursor on the line and then say run to the line forward or backward, and this will step over. So obviously, you know, you get, you can, um, I don't want to construct a new car. I don't want to go into the implementation of constructing the car. So I'll just step over that. Okay. We were starting here. Okay. It's, it's here now. So let me, um, actually, let me put it here. Okay. All right, so let's step over. Well, it might be. Yeah, you got to step into the assertion. I'll step over creation of the car to accelerate, and then say I want to get into the acceleration. So I'll step into. Now I'm in the acceleration. I can either over or into do the same thing to prog progress through the definition. But let's say I don't want to be inside this function anymore. Let's say I want to step out of it. I'll step out. And go to the next line okay but if i wanted to get, but if i'm here now i'm here and i want to step back into to look back at that car accelerate function i'm stepping back into that okay and if i were to say step back into like this it'll just go up this way instead of down so i could step back into like that if i want to step back out of this i'll go out of the, I'll go out of this function and up to the next line of the uh, what what's calling code will be construction of the car class. So I'll say step back out, and now we're now we're at the beginning of here, not quite at the car class, but I could say step back over. It'll step over the creation of the car class. So now we're we're here. We're stepped over that. And we're up here. And then that would put me at the assertion. Okay. So if I'd want, if I want to like step over this or that, then I'd have to dive. I'd have to, I'd have to jump into or step into the assertion, and then step over this, into that or out of it, and and so on and so forth. 